2017 Mazda MX-5 RF 2.0 160 UK Review 8. Point. Heavier and allegedly more civilized Mazda MX-5 RF feels that bit better sorted than the Roadster dynamically, but struggles for better refinement. What is it? Call it delusion or perhaps sheer lunacy, but the British response to the beginning of summer is without question one of unbridled optimism. Just a few days of sunshine has us pulling out the barbecue, heading to the nearest beach, and, if official sales figures are to be believed, buying a convertible, such as the Mazda MX-5. That's right. Despite the UK suffering from notoriously unreliable weather, when it comes to European sales of convertibles, we come second only to Germany. And yet, despite our errant hardiness, there are still those who apparently crave a small sports car but doesn't quite commit them to full soft top living. This is a point backed up by the previous generation MX-5, 80% of which were sold with a folding hard top. It's hardly surprising then, that a year after the launch of the fourth generation soft top, the new Mazda MX-5 RF, which stands for retractable fastback, or hard top to you and me, is going on sale. With a three-part roof made from steel, aluminium, and plastic, the RF promises less wind noise than the regular car, a cleaner Porsche 911 Targa-esque look, and a hands-free electrically folding roof mechanism say goodbye to contorting your body into an unnatural position to lock the roof into place. And yet there is a downside to all of this, wait. Those sexy buttresses, glass rear window and roof folding mechanism only serve to add more weight higher up in the body. In fact, all in, a 2.0 liter engined RF weighs 45 kilograms more than the equivalent soft top. Not ideal in a car praised for its low weight ethos. Therefore, to counteract any unwanted dynamic effects, Mazda has beefed up the front anti-roll bar, tweaked the damper settings and sharpened up the steering, all to ensure that the RF drives as similarly to its sibling as possible. And on the table smooth roads of Spain, it did. But if there's ever a real litmus test for chassis tuning, it's bumpy British B-roads. What's it like? This side of a Lotus Elise or Porsche Cayman, there is nothing currently on sale that offers the same level of poise, delicacy, and balance of the standard Mazda MX-5, but it's not perfect. Turn into a quick corner at speed, and the fabric-roofed MX-5 pitches over heavily on its springs, before finally settling down and regaining composure. It's not a flaw as such, and some even like that you can feel the mass of the car shifting around, but we've always felt that a stiffer set of springs would go a long way to turning the standard car into an even more invigorating driver's car. This is something that the RF, rather surprisingly, goes some way to achieving. Its tweaked dampers and stiffened anti-roll bar not only help to compensate for the extra mass up top, but they also give the car a more planted stance compared with its soft top sister. In fact, combined with slightly quicker steering, we found the tighter RF fractionally more confidence-inspiring on the tight and technical roads of Dartmoor. And the handling isn't the only thing that is surprising. Drop a few cogs using the snickety six-speed manual gearbox, get the throaty 2.0-liter engine singing, and the RF doesn't feel noticeably slower than the regular car, either. In fact, the RF can complete the run from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 7.4 SEC just 0.1 SEC slower than the regular MX-5, and 0.2 SEC quicker than its main rival, the Toyota GT86. But is it as refined as a hard top should be? Well, it depends how you use it. When cruising down sweeping county roads and teetering through quaint villages, the RF makes a great deal of sense, open top thrills on the weekend, with the backup of a hard top during the week. However, leave the top down when pressing on, which you probably will because the roof can only be folded away while you're driving at less than 6 miles per hour, and the RF reveals its biggest weakness, wind noise. Beyond 50 miles per hour the drone behind your head, 
caused by the wind being trapped and then circulated loudly around those flying buttresses is loud enough to curtail any conversation you were having with your passenger. And with the roof up, things don't get much better, with noticeable buffeting around the seal between the roof and side windows. So, rather confusingly, the MX-5 that was designed to offering greater perceived security and better refinement, struggles most noticeably in that area. Should I buy one? The MX-5 RF is as pleasantly surprising as it is confusing. With revised suspension and fractionally sharper steering, the heavier and allegedly more civilized MX-5 feels that little bit better sorted than the Roadster. And yet it struggles to achieve the main objective it set out for itself, namely to offer better refinement over the standard car. But that's not to say it's flawed. Far from it. That clever roof takes up virtually no extra boot space, those gorgeous flying buttresses shout out that this is the more expensive model, and the 2.0 liter drivetrain is still exceptionally engaging. It's just a shame that for your extra 2,000 pounds, you don't quite get the all-rounder that Mazda promised. 2016 Mazda MX-5 RF 2.0 160 Location Devon On sale Now Price 23,095 pounds Engine 4 sills, 1,998 cubic centimeters, petrol Power 158 bhp at 6,000 rpm Torque 148 pounds foot at 4,600 rpm Gearbox 6 SPD manual Curb weight 1,120 kilograms Top speed 134 miles per hour 0 to 62 miles per hour 7.4 SEC Economy 40.9 mpg Combined CO2 slash tax band 161G slash KM 29% Rivals Toyota GT86 Audi TT Roadster